Well, we do have good days and we have bad days in the machine tool world, but what a pleasure to hear to be at Akuma Europe. I'm here with Max, who's the Vice President of Akuma Europe. Max, what an impressive facility you've got here. But one thing I didn't realise is that Akuma actually made gantry machines. Tell us a little bit about the background of that. Yeah, I'm very surprised that you don't know about it because uh, actually uh, Okuma has a reference base of nearly 9,000 double column machining centers worldwide installed in diverse industries. When you say uh, diverse industries, are, we, are you talking mainly automotive? Um, we are talking about uh, dyeing mold applications like we see on this machine here in our showroom for the automotive, but we also talk about uh, applications in the field of machine tool makers whether it's uh, machine tool makers producing CNC laces machining centers so the beds of those machines have to be uh, machined on double column machining center or sheet metal machinery makers producing a lot of their side frames uh, uh, on Okuma double column machining centers. Well, that's quite interesting, actually, because I, I, I think from you know the background uh, of Akuma, from a UK perspective, we, we know best-selling machines like the Maltas, but yeah. this really was the, the start of Akuma then? It was uh, the start of Akuma in the 50s when we built our first double-column machining center, and we are extremely successful uh, in uh, the uh, uh, Asian uh, uh, market. Uh, in the European uh, market, I think we are well known as a manufacturer of double column machining centers, but we should gain some more market share in this respect. And that is also the reason that we exhibit this big machine here in our showroom. And previously we have shown the same machine also on our Emo booth in Hannover last uh, September. Now looking at the variety and the portfolio of machines that you, you have in the Akuma umbrella, I'm very pleased to be here and see some of that technology, but there is a bit of a game changer, isn't there? The LB3000, tell us a little bit about the, the new invention of automation. Um, we were talking quite a lot with our headquarters about automation needs. So in Europe, uh, the, uh, um, the, the labor costs vary quite uh, drastically. So there are some statistics available, uh, roughly saying in Denmark, for example, the hourly costs are 44 euro, and Bulgaria, also belonging to the EU, uh, it's uh, five euro. So nearly factor 10 uh, between uh, uh, those countries. In other words, automation in uh, high labor cost countries is essential. And uh, I talked to a customer in, uh, in uh, Denmark recently and he said uh, in my factory 98% of our machines are automated and the last 2% I will also manage during the next uh, year. For that reason automation is a key issue which was always discussed with our headquarter and our headquarter during uh, Jimdorf last year came up uh, with a unique uh, solution called Armroid and Standroid on LB machine and on Maltus B machines. And it's quite interesting because we see a lot of automation or robots, let's say, outside of the machine, but this robot actually is in, in process effectively. Does it make that unique and how do you avoid collision? Uh, it's an integrated uh, robot and uh, it's not only integrated into the machine, it also means uh, that uh, the programming is done inside of our controller. That means you were uh, talking about uh, collision. Our anti-collision uh, system is also available for the robot and the operator does not ta have to take care about the uh, collisions because collisions can not happen with our system. And I suppose the difference with the two machines as well, uh, with the Moltis, and you can, you're can you using shafts, but you can also use bigger components on the Moltis, can't you? Um, we can use uh, shaft work pieces and uh, chuck work pieces uh, both, and uh, we will further development uh, this armroid and standroid uh, system also for other machinery. And maybe you have recognized uh, we cannot only change just the workpiece, there are also some other functionalities included uh, in the, the uh, armroid. For example, we can have a cleaning device to clean uh, the machine and uh, we can have some kind of uh, uh, steady rest 
which can uh, support uh, the workpiece automatically. So there are functionalities included and uh, we hope for additional functionalities also in the future. And finally, I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit. When you look at the portfolio of products that you've actually got here, machines, uh, you're very much into consultative sales. Not one machine will probably go out as a standard, but do you see these machines, the new machines, the LB3000 for instance, a bit of a game changer in Europe? Uh, I definitely believe it's a game changer. It's something unique which Okuma uh, developed. We are advanced in this uh, respect and uh, we are looking for a great future for this Armroid and Standroid solutions made by Okuma. Well, it's been a pleasure to visit you here in Dusseldorf. Okuma is very strong worldwide, but certainly in Europe. Thanks, Max. Thank you very much. It was a pleasure talking to you. Yeah, and uh, let's have a round through our facility here to see where we are, who we are, and what we can do for our customers here, here in our European headquarters in Krefeld. Thank you.